hemoglobin A1c is measuring that as the sugar sticks to protein, in this case hemoglobin, what's the effect of glycation it has on that hemoglobin? Now, because hemoglobin red blood cell, the lifespan is about three to four months. So when you do an A1c test, you're looking at the lifespan of that red blood cell, how much sugar got stuck on that red blood cell over the lifespan of that red blood cell. So anything that can impact hemoglobin and red blood cell life and quantity can impact and skew the hemoglobin A1c number. So this is why if you're anemic, you have less red blood cell, less hemoglobin than per unit of blood. If you have the same amount of glucose in someone who has no anemia, then per 100 unit of glucose, let's just say, it's going to be stuck to this less number of hemoglobin. So therefore, it's going to make it look more concentrated with sugar. So someone who's anemic will may have a hemoglobin A1c that's slightly skewed. Now, it's not going to skew by like two. It's going to skew by 0.1 or two. Depends on how anemic you are.